so we are currently at the grocery store and me and Madison just need to get like more frozen fruit because we've been having like smoothies or I don't know Madison hasn't really been having them that often but I've been having a smoothie every morning it's something that I'm doing to you know get my health back in check because at least I know that I have a smoothie in the morning that makes me feel better you know it makes me just feel like I got some good food in me at least throughout throughout like the day you know this is one thing that I do to stay healthy and just make sure i'm getting my fruits in and like the vegetable powder that i put in so we're currently at the grocery store and we are just going to get restock on frozen fruit and madison wants to start making smoothie bowls as well so we want to just get like toppings for that maybe some cans of coconut milk because that's like really good to thicken the smoothies up and stuff so we're literally just going to go in in and out just get some frozen fruit and a little bit of toppings for the smoothie bowls that we want to make because we just had a matcha smoothie bowl and it was so good so that inspired us Let's go in. this little health food store near me it basically has like a lot of like organic and just like it's like a health food store it's not like a big grocery store it's like a little little health food store and i love going to those types of places because it's like they have like healthier options and yes it is more pricey but like you can go if you only go there for certain things it's okay so if you guys like want to start eating healthy i suggest that you find like one of those little like healthy little stores near you and then you can just go in there and then I don't know, it just makes it kind of easier. So I'm going there because I want to pick up some ingredients for dinner. I really want to make veggie wraps for dinner. And I also want to pick up some matcha powder because we ran out of matcha. I bought, honestly, the last bag I bought was like months ago and it lasted us a while. So we need a new bag. And honestly, I can only find matcha powder at this um, little grocery store. Like it's literally not sold anywhere else. Oh my God. I can't even listen to music because Madison took my ox cord still gonna be a good day <laughs> see when little things like that happen like little things that will make you mad like i don't have an ox cord right now so i have to listen to the radio it's like you can't like get mad at that you have to look at the positive sides and be like you know what it's fine like i i can listen to a radio station today here's some new music hopefully so gotta keep a positive mindset let's go Okay guys, I just got out and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a passenger seat grocery haul. So I got these um, vegan cheese puffs that I absolutely love. I got two bags. I got some rice for the wraps that I'm gonna make tonight, some peppers for the wraps, and I finally got some more matcha powder. And I got some limes because I'm gonna need it for the sauce I'm gonna make. Over here, I just wanted to try this new oat milk brand that I've never seen in my life before, so I was really intrigued. And we're also out of oat milk, so. And then I got green onions and cucumber. And I got vitamin E. Vitamin E and iodine is supposed to help with endometriosis. 
So I got that and then the iodine that I got and this is supposed to help as well with endometriosis. I don't really know the scientific explanation if I'm completely honest but apparently this can at least help so I'm gonna try it and see how I feel because I do not want to suffer another period. And yeah, I got some sesame oil as well because we had none and it's really good when you make like stir fries and stuff and yeah that's all that i got okay so now's the time of day where i hit like a slump like i need a coffee i need some sort of caffeine to keep me going throughout the day because honestly in the morning when i wake up i'm fine like i wake up and i don't need immediate caffeine but then once i hit this time of the day like midday one two three o'clock that's when i feel like i need a burst of energy like i need i need something to help me to keep going throughout the day especially if i'm like planning on having a workout or if soccer practice or something that leads me to today's sponsor which is ehp lab so thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and they have really freaking good energy drinks you guys like literally my brother tried them when I first got the package and he's like holy shit this is the best energy drink I've ever had and I'm like I know they're so good I was literally just saying the other day and I was like Joel we have no like good energy drink companies like I didn't know of really any good ones now let me tell you so they sent me five can I not talk they sent me five flavors um also the cans are literally so like textured i don't know how to describe it like you would need to get it yourself to like really know what i'm saying but they're they have like a really cool like you can kind of hear texture into them and they feel so cool like i've never really experienced a can like this before that was my first impression so i was like holy shit these cans are so cool but anyway so the five flavors are peach candy rings pina colada guava paradise passion fruit and then strawberry kiwi so I'm going to crack them all open and I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of a taste test. They are giving away a freaking Tesla. Yes, a Tesla. So if you guys buy a pack of energy drinks, you can enter to win by posting a photo on your story, putting a picture of yourself with the energy drink on your story and tagging OxyShred. I will have like the details down below. Okay, got them all open. So first up is the Pina Colada. That is just so good. Like, this is dangerous because they're honestly too good that, like, I want to drink, like, 10 a day. That is so good. It's, like, the perfect amount of bubbliness, if that even makes sense. Carbonation. There you go. It's a perfect amount. And I've been drinking these throughout the week. Usually I burp, like, when I have, like, um, like a uh, pop or something and it's, like, really strong, like, carbonation, I, like, burp. It's a great amount of carbonation. Okay, this is the peach candy rings. That is so good. Literally tastes like fuzzy peach. Next up, we got guava paradise so good i literally love freaking guava like that might be my favorite one yet i don't know why but there's just something about guavas that i love okay next one passion fruit this one tastes like a fruity a fruity punch we love that and this one is the strawberry kiwi that is so freaking good my top is the i think it's a guava and pina colada i do like myself some tropical drinks they're all so good though but i think those are my two favorite flavors so these actually contain l clarnitine I think it's called and smart energy so it's not going to give you those like jitters you know when you have like way too much caffeine or like the wrong type of caffeine and you're like literally like you can't you get anxious i haven't experienced anything with that with these drinks it's been like literally great and literally the effect that it has on me when i drink these it's like i'm more focused i can feel like i can just accomplish my tasks it just helps me like you know give me that pump throughout the day to keep going and it just it makes me feel like i just woke up and i feel like refreshed you know what i mean also these are going to give you zero crash they're full of vitamin c and vitamin b give you that nice natural energy literally after i drink one of these i just feel good like i just feel like i can manifest anything and accomplish anything because the effect that it has on me like i just i just feel like i can crush the rest of my day but if you guys want to shop them i will have a link down below and i also have a coupon code for you guys which is bento 10 i believe for 10 percent off and it'll be like everything will be in the description and don't forget you can literally win a tesla if you post a picture a nice selfie of yourself on your instagram story and tag them and yeah i'm honestly so happy that they reached out to work with me because i'm not even kidding you when i say i've been looking for like some good energy drinks i just never really found anything that i really liked but this game changer but yeah so thank you to hp loves for sponsoring this video again and do not forget to click the link in the description i think i'm going to sign up for a gym membership today like a new gym because there's one that opened up like closer to my house than like the old gym i used to go to 
So I think that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. Right now I think I'm gonna go downstairs and make dinner, like start the veggie wraps. I'll show you guys how I make them. It's so easy and so healthy. But yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go downstairs, start dinner, and then go sign up for the gym membership. And who knows, I might even end up working out tonight. Oh my god, that was so exciting. I really hope I can. But if we can't go to the gym tonight, then we're going to do an at-home workout. So here's the vegetables that are going to be going in. Carrots, um, peppers, cucumber, green onion. And then I'm also going to add rice. So that's hot rice into them. And then that's all I'm going to do. And these are the rice um, wrappers that I'm using. I'm pretty sure you can probably get these anywhere. Like they have them at literally any grocery store. Yeah, literally all you have to do is put these in warm water. Like one at a time. And then they soften up and then you can like wrap them. Like a wrap. So here are how the rice wraps turned out. Um, it actually made quite a bit. I didn't even mean to make this much, but it made a bit. And if you guys are stacking them, like if you make this and you want to stack them on a plate, make sure to put parchment paper in between each layer or else they're all going to like stick together because like the rice wraps are kind of sticky. So yeah, I made a lot and I just made like a peanut sauce and I honestly eyeballed um, the recipe for this because I made it a few times. And basically all I did was put peanut butter, um, hot water, lime and maple syrup and then soy sauce so that's what i did for the sauce actually coconut aminos but that's like a soy sauce substitute um so that's what i did for the sauce i can link a similar recipe down below because i just like didn't follow a recipe but any recipe is basically gonna have like the same components to it but yeah so good and so healthy and it's a good way to get your vegetables in so as for my health goes in terms of like dieting and being healthy i don't diet at all like I really don't diet the only restrictions that I put on myself is like I try and limit my dairy as much as possible and I'm thankful that like I don't have any like medical conditions um like celiac where I have to stay away from something so it's more of like a preference like dairy I just don't like it because it's um makes my eczema more inflamed and it's not like I have to stay away from it because technically I could eat it but it, there is consequences to it but yeah so from Monday to Friday I tell myself like no dairy like if you're gonna eat any dairy make it like one percent of the week and then on the weekends I'm more like lenient like last weekend I had a pizza and it was fine like as long as I limit my dairy, then it makes, like, me feel a lot better and it makes me happy. And so I just, like, have little things that I like to stick to. And during the week, I always make sure, like, that my snacks are healthy. Like, if I'm watching, like, a show at the end of the day, I'll make sure to grab a healthy snack rather than grabbing, like, a buttered popcorn bag, for example. And then, like, Friday nights, Saturday nights, I just kind of let myself eat what I want. So I have the popcorn and I'll have something more unhealthy. Um, if I feel like it and also everything in moderation like I've learned that it's so important too much of anything is all is honestly not good for you either so you have to see that and yeah I just like try and listen to my body that's also very important to do um, and I just honestly do that and eat basically what I feel like is good for me so it's, that's gonna differ every person like you can't look at what I eat and copy that exact same thing you can't look at what the celebrity eats and copy the exact same thing because you don't have the same body as them like everybody has different function sh functioning bodies so it's like you really can't do that okay you guys are gonna think I'm crazy it's literally 11 o'clock at night right now and I'm going to the gym I just signed up to the new gym and we are going to the new gym because I kind of want to scope out the equipment first of all I want to scope it out while no one is there because I feel like you just look stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not because of that, but like, you know, I just want to get a feel of the gym when like there's barely going to be anyone there. 
So we're literally gonna go to the gym. I don't think I've ever been to the gym this late, but it's gonna be an experiment. I'm really excited and it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna get a nice ass workout in, but we're also gonna be really easy on ourselves because we haven't worked out in a long time. Yeah. I don't want pain no more. I don't want no more pain. I can go see no way. Look at that with no pain. See the rain coming down, but it is not purple today. Came a long way from stacking and rolling that change. And all I ever wanted was some real love. Then I sit on my heart, I watched it build up. Okay, so I just finished my first workout in so long. And let me tell you, it literally feels so freaking good to be back at the gym because now I can like be on a consistent schedule. Like I'm gonna wanna go like at least three times a week. That's like my minimum goal just because I feel like with going three times a week I can still accomplish my goals but it's not like pressuring myself too much so I'm gonna try to go Monday Wednesday Friday if that like aligns with my schedule but obviously sometimes my schedule is like different so it'll just depend on the week but I feel like Monday Wednesday Friday is a solid schedule because then you get the weekend off and it's not like too much because for me personally I don't like going to the gym like I don't know, I would say more than five days a week because I just like having at least like a couple days of rest. I think that is so important, at least like the way my body works, like I just need my rest and I know that I'm gonna push myself too hard if I go too often. So I think like the perfect medium for me is like three days a week, maybe four, maybe five, I don't know. Honestly, it'll just depend on like what I'm feeling that week and what I want to, you know, accomplish, but that's like gonna be my minimum goal is three times a week. But I'm really so happy that I'm back at it. I'm literally so happy. This room, by the way, is so nice. It's literally just like a little studio, and I was like blaring music in here as you guys saw, and I was just dancing because it feels so good. Just have like a dance party. Like, if you ever feel stressed out or anything, just like literally blast your favorite song and start dancing. I promise you, it'll make you feel literally so much better. It just like releases energy because sometimes like when we feel stressed or anxious it's like pent up energy and it's like you need to let that energy go and you need some ways to exert from your body and dancing is such a good method like even if you're stuck at dancing like i literally look so dumb dancing and just throw the camera to camera <laughs> like it's so important to exert your energy especially when it's pent up like that and that's why we get anxious that's why we get like stressed is because we have so much energy pent up in our bodies that we need we need it you know, let loose and just let it go. And dancing makes me so happy. Like if I'm in a bad mood, I'll just put on my favorite song and just like dance to it. Like honestly, dancing is underrated. Just like moving your body to a song is just so fun. And it makes me always feel so freaking happy. So tip of the day is start dancing. Do more dancing, I promise you. It'll make you like so, feel so good. It's currently 12 o'clock. It is literally 12 o'clock a.m. and I'm at the gym. That is so weird, but you know what? We love it. We love it. Um, so I think I'm just gonna pack myself up and go home now because it's 12 a.m. and I still need a shower and dare I say do a little bit of editing. Oh my god, no, I can't. I need to go to bed. I need, I need to go to bed. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my mat here and then get going. Mm -hmm. 